Welcome to Dynamite. And last week, there was a little bit of an issue between myself and one of my favorite members of the Jericho Appreciation Society. And we agreed to come out here tonight to discuss those issues and work them out face to face. So I want to bring out right now one of my favorite people in the world today, a future world champion and my protege, Daniel Garcia! Well, Taz, after that two out of three falls match last week at Dynamite, the fans were chanting, you're a wrestler at Daniel Garcia. Yeah, they, they look at Garcia, he's not a sports entertainer. You can just read this young man's face. He's conflicted right now. You can just see it. His body language, JR, is pretty evident. I think that's as a result of his relationship with Jericho, because obviously these two guys are very, very close. Does it have that much to do with who's a sports entertainer and who's a pro wrestler? I'm not so sure about that. I think two weeks ago when I was in the ring with Garcia and Danielson, you can see that Danielson was getting to Garcia at that time about the things he was saying about the young man's career. I think it started then. Wow, how about that? Fans have made their made their vote. I'd say that's a compliment. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm trying to be civil about this. I'm trying to be civil about this. Please shut up! Don't listen to them. They don't understand the connection that we have, Danny, all right? Last week, you had a classic match with Brian Danielson, all right? You slayed the dragon, in my opinion, right? You want to cheer, you can cheer for that for sure. But at the end of the match, I know emotions were running high, adrenaline was running high. You put your hands on me, Danny, and you, you spun me around, you slapped my hand away, and listen, like I said, you had just gone through hell. I know you're probably a little disappointed because you lost the match. So I think we can work all of this out very quickly. I just want you to apologize to me. Oh my God. That's simple. I mean, I think that's nice of Chris. Just, you know, just an apology. That, there's the ego right there. That's the ego I was talking about. On which side of the fence here, Tom? Yeah, well, just apologize. You knew how special that moment was to me. You knew how special it was for me to share the ring with my hero, Brian Danielson. <laughs> 30 minutes with my hero. People are calling it the greatest match in Dynamite history and it's not even close. Rave reviews everywhere. I hung with my hero, the people who call him the best wrestler in the world. I hung with him for 30 minutes. He sure did. That match that I had last week, it's the kind of match that I always dreamt of having when I was a kid. When I was sitting at home in Buffalo with my mom, I dreamt of having that kind of match and I got to have it last week. And I could only hope that there's somebody watching at home. Let it be my nephew, my little cousin Trey, a random kid anywhere in the country that wants to have that match too. I want them to feel the same way that I felt. And when Brian stuck his hand out to me, while well, I'm knocked out in the middle of the ring and asked me for a sign of respect, I didn't care if people called me a wrestler. I didn't care if people called me a sports entertainer. All I cared about was that moment. And you ruined it. You ruined that moment for me, Chris. I, listen, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I want to I want to remind you there's going to be plenty more moments like that for you, Danny, because you are the greatest technical sports entertainer in the world today. 
It's true. It's true. It really is. And deep down inside, you know you're a sports entertainer. And now I just want to hear you say it. Say it. You're a sports entertainer. Say it. for our very eyes. Well, as if Garcia wasn't conflicted enough. Look, Jericho is trying to make this whole thing about him. And this is the man that Daniel Garcia considers his hero. Well, enough for nothing. Maybe Garcia should realize where his bread's buttered. Jericho gave him a huge opportunity, part of the JS. I'm just kidding. That's the facts. He did. But after last week, what if there's a spot in the Black Bull Combat well, Club? I, I, I think Danielson gave him the, the huge opportunity by wrestling him on TV. Just because he wrestled him? Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know Danielson was the matchmaker. Give me a hard time, Shivani. Daniel, I see that uh, your mentor here is trying to bully you into saying that you're a sports entertainer. Now listen. You can be whatever you want to be. I respect us wrestling last week. And in my opinion, I agree with all these people that you're a wrestler. You're really going to do this to me, huh? You're a sports entertainer. Kids put in a tough spot here, guys. And I want to hear you say it right now. Look at me. Come on, Chris. Say it. Tell me you're a sports entertainer. Stop it. Stop it. I, I got my mentor here. I got my hero here. And you're trying to make me make the decision in front of all these people in public. I'm not doing it. I can't do that right here, right now. I can't do it. Leave me alone, all right? I cannot do this. Leave me alone. Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! Jericho shoved down. Yeah, well, Jericho reached and put his hand on the kid. For the second time in as many weeks, Daniel Garcia putting his hands. And Danielson loves it. What an instigated Danielson is, in my <laughs> opinion. Taz! What an incredulous look on the face of Chris Jericho who now has two reasons for redemption. This is all Jericho's fault. He's making it about himself. It's... And the fans are doing the right chant right now. 